For those who want to uh, download the worksheet in these next examples, go to the frugalcomputerguy.com, video tutorials, and then office spreadsheet. And down at the bottom of that page, I will have the link to download those ODS spreadsheets. Now we want to add a birth date for each of our made up people here. And since they're made up, we're going to make up a birthday. But before we do that, let's take a look at how uh, the date function works. So I'm going to type in equals, oops, I gotta activate the cell, equals today. And there's today's date, 8411. And if I go on here and reformat that to a number, we see 4759. What that more or less is, is the number of days since 1900. Let's take a look at that in a little more detail. I've created this date and time sheet to explain how the dates work a little better. Up at the top, in our first example, I show the date of today equal to 4759. So it's been 40,759 days since uh, 1900. Now, if I reformat that as a date only, we'll see it as 8 4 2011. When I add the date and time, we have midnight basically because we'll see that as time only. So it's all equal to the same thing C5, oh, this is equal to C3, and then I just point to the one above it in this example. Now, coming down to the next example, I'm using today's date. I'm also using zero to show that it's uh, zero is 12 30 1899, and one is equal to 12 31. And this is what I used when I did the format as the dash one, two, three, four, and uh, my date format, date and time. And those are what I selected in the formats. And here we're seeing the same thing more or less um, as zeros, midnight. When I come down here, we'll see a decimal point, dot four, five. And that is telling us that it's 1048 AM. So when we're adding the time, we're just adding a decimal point. And to get 1230, I got this uh, dot 52083333, and that was not randomly selected. I went through and did 1230, then I got the number version, and that's how I put that in there. And using the, the one for the 1899 and two for one one 1900. So we can see how to add and subtract dates. If you wanna know something a week away, you would add seven, subtract seven, and we can tell the number of days between dates by using those numbers and times if you're using time 4 30 a.m 10 30 p.m on the next day so we get the number of hours that would all be done with the decimals so that's how the dates work and i'll put this on the website if you want to download this and play with it a little <laughs>